hi loves welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome my name is Intiano and today's video is going to be my September TBR so basically I will be telling you guys about the books I plan to get to reading in September and why <laughs> I want to read them basically right so the thought process behind them being on my TBR and yes let's get right to it so the month of september is a very very reading month of september from my plans is a very very intimidating month for me um and just because i have a whole lot of fantasy and just normally things i wouldn't read and things i normally would read historical fiction romance contemporary fiction and so um these ones are kind of like out of my comfort reading zone. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten books on this list to read. As at this morning, I think we are making it eleven. I have three fantasy romances to read, and the reason why is because um, I have been watching this K drama now since. Um, June and today which is August 28th if I'm not mistaken is the last day of the K-drama right and it has been a long while I've been following for like 11 weeks without missing any single week and today is the last day of this drama and so I'm guessing that I would have some withdrawal symptoms right because 11 weeks is a long time to follow something that's a week short of three months and the drama is a fantasy romance k drama and so i just think that it would be best to have some fantasy romances piled up to read so that i can you know sort of get it all out of my system and so the three books that i have for this the first one is sorcery of thorns by margaret by Margaret Rogerson. I have no idea what this book is about. I just got really interested in it after I watched um, Clockwork Reader, the Clockwork Reader, um, the vlog where it was like she found her new favorite book and it was Sorcery of Dawn she was talking about and I was so intrigued, right? Um, so <laughs> I decided to, you know, put that on put that as a book I want to read and I decided, you know what, since we are going for fantasy romances, let's pick it up and then the second one um this one is it really a fantasy romance i'm not exactly sure but that is the second book in the bone season by um samantha shannon and this one the bone season is a series that follow this girl in this future time like dystopian time there are humans that have supernatural powers that are referred to as clairvoyance and then there are also like other supernatural beings that have power and so these um, humans these clairvoyants are sort of recruited by the supernatural beings to fight this great enemy that apparently is you know a threat to both the supernatural and the humans themselves and um in the book one there was a romance between the main character in this who was a girl a clairvoyant right so a girl with like um we had psychic abilities and the supernatural guy because like i said the supernatural people recruit the humans like the clairvoyants right the humans with powers and they recruit them to be warriors to fight against this thing and so the supernatural people are kind of like masters to the clairvoyants and so she sort of had a romance kind of thing going on with her what do you call it with her master with the person she was assigned to or the person that picked her and thoroughly enjoyed book one and i cannot wait to get to book two and see how things go from there and then the third one is dance of thieves by mary e pearson i've been meaning to read this one since last year i think this book was on my top 10 tbr of 2021 and obviously i did not get to it i'm not exactly sure what it's about but i've heard people say good things about it right and so dance of thieves from what i've heard is about like these two thieves um the girl is she was a thief but i think she has been recruited by no a noble person somebody in high standing in society anyway to sort of crack down these outlaws that a sort of pl plaguing and disturbing the land that kind of thing and um the people the outlaws that she's supposed to crack down upon she ends up having a romance i think with their leader so 
yeah that's what i know about that the next three books i want to read are books with um characters in with main characters in the autism spectrum and this is basically because also again another k drama related <laughs> reason but basically um extraordinary attorney Wu is a k drama about this um lawyer that has autism i usually do i have these videos on my channel where it's like i recommend books based on k dramas and i just thought that it was really interesting i saw that i had read some books that had autistic main character and i wanted to do a recommendation video but i was like instead of recommending to you guys why not read more books with like main characters in the autism spectrum and so i put out three more books that i plan to get to i have no idea what two of these books are about um but the first one is a desperate fortune by susanna kersley i am currently reading mariana by susanna kersley and i just feel like it'd be interesting to you know read another of her works just because I think I am quite enjoying Mariana, which is her present work that I'm reading and, you know, it's sort of familiar territory, right? Um, so I have no idea what that is about. Then we have House Rose by Judy Picoult, which is about this boy who is being suspected for murder because basically um, he has this weird tendencies and these behaviors that is not seen as normal basically, right? And so I think people are murdered and stuff and apparently his behavior would usually be seen as like you know his symptoms of like the autism he has and stuff but now it's looking at see if he's the suspect right because of those weird behaviors he's displaying and then the third one is the girl he used to know by tracy gravis tracy gravis graves and this one i have actually started reading but stopped i started reading this while i was in like university i can't remember what year but i know that i stopped because i was like it was during exam periods and you know i was just caught up in <laughs> the whirlwind of exams and all and i just dropped it down and never picked it up again but i was enjoying it while i was reading it so i'm like you know what let's get back to this and then the next one is final vows by karen kingsbury so if you have watched my previous vlog um one of my vlogs it's a weekly reading vlog i wanted to read this book but i did not know it was a true crime novel and i wasn't prepared so i chickened out but now i think i'm fully prepared like going in knowing that it's a true crime novel plus it will be my first true crime novel ever and i'm quite excited so final vows basically is like about this um guy who is in prison and then there's this lady that writes letters to him part of her church program and something somehow i think they end up falling in love and get married and stuff so yes that's the premise of that book um then the other four books that i want to read there's no well there are some reasons for reading this one so the first one is the lightning thief by rick riordan i started this book in june and i have not been able to finish it and it wasn't because I wasn't enjoying it, right? I just got wrapped up in stuff and dropped it and never picked it up. And I think I want to at least finish book one before the official adaptation is out. And I'm like, I have no idea when the adaptation is coming out, to be very honest. I've just seen everybody rave about it on Instagram, Twitter, and you know, I'm just like, okay, um, I need to be in on what's happening, you know, for more is real and all <laughs> and so i just really want to read it before you know the adaptation comes out and catches me off guard um and then the next one i have is the lincoln highway by amo Tows, and this one is like road fit and i started reading this one and the same reason i just dropped it it's not like i was enjoying it i was enjoying it in a sense where it's very interesting because like i said this road fiction and like it's about from what i read it's about like these two boys who um have become fully orphaned and so they want to move away to a different city to kind of like start life afresh and stuff and their brothers and so far the relationship between both of them as brothers is quite cute i think the elder brother is also just coming back from prison and also it's just giving like a very narrative um you know story like people just narrating what's happening as they try to relocate to a new place and, oh they're not fully orphaned their mother left and so they're trying to you know start afresh basically because the other brother 
uh, <laughs> has come from prison the dad is dead and so he's he like wants to take his his younger brother away from that entire environment of that so yes that's basically what this one is about and this one is one i have not started reading it is one year of maybe by rachel lynn solomon and i want to read this one because it's just a very interesting concept that i really want to see how it plays out so one is about this girl who has a crush on this guy and then she finds out that he needs i think a kidney transplant or something and then she's a match or something like that and she feels like because she you know helps him in that way of like donating her kidney to him he's going to fall for her and that's just very interesting to me that's just very interesting and then the last one that i just added i just you know got the book this morning to my tbr is one day in december by josie silver this one also has a very interesting you know premise to it as well so basically this girl we have this girl who does not believe in love at first sight at all she feels like it's just a thing for the movies and all and then one day at the train station i think she locks eyes with this guy and she is fully convinced that he is the one and then how many months years days later she meets the guy but it turns out that the guy is her close friend boyfriend or fiance and that's very interesting that's very very interesting so i want to see you know how that plays out as well and yes that is my tbr for the month of september so if you have read any of this book let me know let me also know what you think about them as well uh, if you have been wanting to read any of these books as well let me know and with that my loves we have come to the end of this video i will see you in my next video don't forget to leave a huge thumbs up for this video and subscribe if you haven't i will see you in my next video Bye.